everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a Project Life process video for the month of October 2020. And just like I did with November 2020, I'm going to do a single spread. But this one is going to have an insert with Halloween related things. We did in Trick or Treat this year, which is, has been the first time in a very long time since my oldest was born. I think that we've been trick or treating. So um, due to COVID, we didn't want to, you know, go out and do trick-or-treating so they still dressed up and they I think the Amazon box came with a thing where you would draw on a pumpkin and then it would make your face like a pumpkin and it was creepy and weird but we did it and I took those photos and added them to my album I did want it to do the whole thing Halloween because I don't get a chance to use many Halloween items, of course, during the year. Everything that I have Halloween-related fits in a pseudo calico. Well, those are the old Project Life kits. I still don't know if they have those. I haven't ordered one in a while. But I was also looking for some patterns so I could add some photos. It was my nephew's first birthday, and I swiped these photos from my sister's um, Facebook page and I also wanted to make a shaker pocket in the insert because in October I made some Halloween sequin mixes and they turned out really cool so I, I wanted to leave a space so I could finally use one of those and this sticker book I think I'm not completely sure is from Target and it's really super cute and I wanted to use that little witch in the title and those alphas are from a thicker pack and it's very old it's so old that all the thickers are like jumbled up in the pack it's a hot mess so that's what I did it before starting the video I pulled those out I've been trying to use my thickers a lot since I have so many and if I keep writing weak all the time then I only use the same letters so it's good to have a chance to use them for something else. And I also added some washi tape and I'm gonna, I have a pack of stickers, I have actually a few that I got from Target and those are once they are from American Greetings and I'm gonna sticker sneeze all over this page with that pack. I also added a little hat from Paper House Productions and then I'm gonna add something else. It's just that I felt like it was missing something because I, you know how I am. I keep trying to add things to all the cards. And this week I was trying a different way of editing and doing my videos which is this wider view where you can see all the pages but I honestly didn't like it. I was like so frazzled by trying this new process. I rather put everything to the side and wa uh, work with one card at a time but I was trying something different because my views aren't that great and I've been like trying to pose constantly and do things that people might be interested in but it's not working so I know that a lot of project lifers use this white format and I like that this is one of the things that I like when I look at it but when I do it I'm like no <laughs> And I used some stamps in that photo that I that I showed before my daughter was sick. So I took a photo of her sleeping, which is weird for her to sleep. Like she has to be really sick. And I thought about adding also orange to this mix. But I thought it was going to look a little strange. So I stayed with the packs that had black, white purple anything shimmery and clear and I mixed up a few of 
the sequin packs that I make. Even when I make these packs, I always have to add something. But it's like a good starter. That way you don't have to like come up with anything right there. I do have, last year I got from Target a bunch of little ghosts, some bats, some cats. And I thought that it looked really cool in the packet. And once I'm done with that, I am going to seal it with my fuse tool. And I freaking love my fuse tool. And I love little shaker pockets. And I'm going to leave it like that for a while. Then I'm going to realize that I want to add something on top of the page protector. And here I'm going to come come back with this I think that element it's from in a creative bubble I know some of the cards are from in a creative bubble and some of them are from L studio I know that that had nothing to do with Halloween but I still wanted to add that little die cut because again I'm never gonna get a chance to use them I got those studio calico stickers which i love they're so cute i love how bright the orange is i love the font i think they still have some of those available so i'm going to link them below most of the links are affiliate links you don't have to use them but they do help and i just get a little commission for sharing the product with you and those ghost stickers are also from target and i love them too i'm going to use them a lot and I was just trying to use everything that I could in this spread because otherwise they're just gonna go to waste. <laughs> and I did have quite a few die cuts from In a Creative Bubble. And I'm just trying to layer them on that card. I'm going to go for the same washi tape over and over again. I also have a really thin orange one that I'm going to be using. And I used that little pumpkin with the mask. I thought it was genius. I also love how she did that with her holiday collection. And speaking of the holiday collection, uh, I'm going to start sharing December daily videos. I don't want to burn out before December and I haven't finished 2020 because I have to move and I have to pack everything away so I'm gonna be sharing some of those videos you can save them if you want to look at them in November before we start and yeah I am so off season it's July and I'm here doing um Halloween and holiday spreads those photo corners were sent to me by Leilani and I love them so much. I thought it was a good way to put a smaller photo in a 4x6 card. And the 31 is also from an L Studio package and it had a few stars so I wanted to treat that as kind of a like confetti so I'm just going to throw some ghosts around. And my daughter did dress up like a little vampire. She looks so cute. And she likes creepy things, but she normally doesn't dress up creepy at all. And neither does my oldest. So this year they went kind of creepy and they loved it. So we'll see what they pick this year. And hopefully this year will be a little bit more normal-ish. I love those tabs that in a creative bubble adds on her elements kit. And I'm gonna again stick her sneeze all over with those little ghosts. And I'm using this ancient uh, stamp set from Freckle Fawn. It's so old, it's when that little girl in the photo was like a baby. 
so it's it still works perfectly and i use some pseudo calico orange county ink to stamp on photos i love using color ink to stamp on photos and i like the pseudo calico ink however i use the canon glossy 2 paper just in case because sometimes ink reacts differently to different papers i just wanted to use a bunch of those little word stickers you guys know i love them i would love to find those but in a holiday version maybe i have holiday in my mind now so i'm gonna add these little circle not little they're actually quite big the circle die cuts and i'm going to use the tombow extreme adhesive because it's the best adhesive when you want to add something on top of a page protector actually the the star that i put in front of my holiday album was also with that adhesive and it's still perfectly there a photo of my nails i do love that spooky manicure just a picture of my coffee and i was working on something in the computer i was just trying i think i was like trying to change the color in die cuts and you can see a video of how i do that i shared it a few weeks ago this is one of the photos that my sister shared and that little banner is perfect it's not halloween related at all i should cut a few more of those and i love these little phrase stickers they are from pretty little studio there's only like half of them so i couldn't find many things and it's mostly about summer and having fun and things like that and these stickers are also from american greetings and i got them at target and I just wanted to use those little panda stickers. I've been following the BFFs, BFF sticker club and they have been like motivating me to use a lot of my stickers. But I still can't do like the challenges. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe once I do one, I'll get out of my head and be able to like process how to do one. And I'm just going to use these alphas from Paper Person to write first birthday and my daughter was doing like a little bit of yoga in that photo she was doing gym she was doing school in my craft room and it was so crowded <laughs> It was, I don't know, I, it was so stressful sharing my space because I'm normally very organized and she's not. So looking at her little area like a hot mess was driving me bananas. And I just added a little bunny in that gym, next to the gym. And I used these in a creative bubble cards to type my journaling using my typewriter. And I use the We Are Memory Keepers ribbon because it fits my vintage typewriter. So I need to get a new one because it's starting to be like very light. And I kind of forgot that that sticker with the umbrella had like an extra part where you can color the umbrella. So I decided to go back and do that and then add this sticker that says today has been tough and here is part of the spread i had to take her to the dentist it was an infection in her mouth and the, the dentist was like yeah it's totally normal i'm like why do these doctors keep saying yeah it's totally normal it happens all the time and i never heard about some of this stuff well i don't know I love that shaker pocket and oh the glare sorry about the glare I do love that little card I think that was my favorite part 
the card with the photo and the little tabs. And I, of course, love stamping and the little stickers. So that is the insert. And on the right, we're going to have, we're going to go back to everyday stuff. And, you know, I have a picture of a book I was reading. My daughter had to, uh, for art, make like a hybrid animal from like other animals. So it's that little illustration gives you nightmares go to her teacher because it's her fault it was really weird but i really loved the exercise that's what i included the photo of her art project in the album i do that a lot too and i love adding photos from my family that is far away from me that way my daughters get to know them a little bit more well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some December dailies, stick around. I am going to upload a few Project Life spreads here and there. But I, I really want to get December daily out of my way this month. So I hope you're okay with that. If not, then sorry. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.